In today's One Tang Trips, we are going on a journey to Lancaster County. This location explores the roots of Pennsylvania's founder, William Penn. It's called the Historic Ephrata Cloister. It's about an hour and 15 minutes outside of Philadelphia. It's where William Penn established his holy experiment of religious freedom. Action News photojournalist Dave Edwards takes a look. Ephrata Cloister was the town of Ephrata. This is where the town of Ephrata began. About an hour and 15 minutes from Philadelphia. And guess it's cheaper up here. <laughs> the Ephrata Cloister is a living example of William Penn's holy experiment of religious freedom. Conrad Beitzel immigrates from Germany in 1732 and drew others to him here. And they established the community of the solitary. He believed the second coming would happen before he died. And those who lived a celibate lifestyle would um, achieve a heavenly marriage with God for all eternity. This was a very literal community, men and women, studies from 7 to 9, and at 9 o'clock it was bedtime. And you went to rest on your 14-inch wooden board that was your bed with your wooden block for your pillow. Then at midnight you would get up and proceed to the meeting house to await that second coming. If by 2 nothing happened, back to your comfy bed and rest again until 5 o'clock and get up and do it all over again. We were in the meeting house, first floor, where the men and brothers would have sat for worship and in the balconies on the second floor would be the sisters and women. This is the first documented place in the North American colonies where women are composing music. Altogether, they write over a thousand hymns. The other thing that they're known for is the Fraktur Schriften, fractured script, and that's that elaborate script that was used for their writing. They printed the largest book in the colonies prior to the American Revolution, 1,500 page book called The Martyr's Mirror. I think what stands out to the most to me is the opportunity that was here for women, for them to be literate, for them to be creative, an opportunity that doesn't exist to them in the outside world. Well, that was Action News photojournalist Dave Edwards from Ephrata. Action News is sharing your story, your voice, your community as we bring you the unique sights, sounds, and stories from our region seen through the eyes of our talented photographers. You can send us your ideas of some place or someone unique for us to explore by going to 6abc.com slash your story. All right, time for an update.